highest heights Let's spread our wings and fly away Surround you with love that's pure delight Release your spirit, set you free Come and feel my energy Let's be as one in soul and mind I feel your world with ecstasy Touch all your dreams deep down Okay, just a quick um, bit of info on the new girl. So, as you can see, Kyle's making a guest appearance. It's not very often you see Kyle on the videos anymore. Um, but it is a Saturday and um, Nikki's off down Wales. So, I know that there's many of you um, will be eager to get some info. So, that's why we started our assessments um, over the weekend with this new girl. Um, bear in mind guys, Kyle's a good six foot one, so he does tend to uh, drown the horses a little bit. Um, we've not actually measured her, but I bought her as 15 two, so that'd be an approximate size guys. Um, but as, I, as, you, <clears throat> as I've just said, Kyle's a good six foot one. And currently, how heavy? Okay, he's going to say 12 stone 12 because uh, that's his boxing weight, but he's not, guys. He's heavier than that. So, um, Jazz is, she's either 12 or 13. I need to just double check that, but this is only a really brief bit of info. I'll attach the video to this as well from today, but it wasn't an official video, guys. It was just giving her a quick initial ride just to get um, the feel of her. She's come from a private home in the middle of Wales. Um, where she's actually been used for the daughter to have lessons on and take and do sort of some jumping lessons and, you know, like a pony club type thing. And then actually for the dad to hack out. Uh, a couple of reasons she's for, uh, for sale. The owners do actually own a stud and she's not compatible with their stallion. They have not tried her with the stallion. It's the, the, um, the colour thing. I don't know, the breeding specific colours. And unfortunately, the dad actually sustained um, a farming accident, so has been out of action. So this is the only reason she's sold. She's previous to her private owners having her. She um, has been on a riding school and the riding school closed down um, at the beginning of COVID. Um, she's been used for hacking alone and in company, off-road and on-road. Um, loaded up and taken to um, lessons and that sort of stuff. Friends coming over, used her for hacking. And as, as I said, hacking on her own, hacking in company. She's jumped, she's jumped cross country jumps. She's done show jumps. I'd say her flat work needs a bit of work. That's just typical of coming off a riding school. But as you can see, we've walked up canter in here. She's gone straight round the jump. She's not at all spooky, actually. Not at all. She's jumped all of the jumps. Um, not bothered whatsoever. We will take her up to the top arena on another day and jump around the full course as well. And we'll show you her in the open space, hacking out. <coughs> She's a bit face pulley to do a girth guys bit typical mare but she's been good as gold to be around stands perfectly still for a bath to be honest the kids could have bathed her she just stood there she quite enjoyed the bath um so yeah this size um as you all know is just keep walking one sec this size horse as you all know is very difficult to find i know many of you always messaging me anything around the 15 2 mark um so Hence, that's why we're just getting the info out to you ASAP. She's currently in the green heart 
and looking at uh, prices at the minute, they've gone sky high. So that is a very, very reasonable price for a mare like this. I will bring you more info over the next few days, but that's just the initial um, details. And as you can see, she's just chilling on a long rain. Okay, thanks everyone. Right guys, so you have just seen um, Jazz from start, um, bringing her in from the paddock, tacking up, and now going for a little hack. Um, let me just go. Right, okay, so I haven't actually done too many um, voiceovers of um, Jazz because, to be honest, um, Kyle's been riding her and we needed to put her through some more assessments. You'll have to just bear with me with the, um, with what it looks like on camera guys because it's the light. It's the light that keeps coming through uh, the trees. That's what you can see in front. So it looks like smoke. So bear with. Right then. So obviously, as you can see, um, that Jazz is just come straight out on her own, left the yard to be faced with cars immediately. Um, Obviously, it's only cars, not heavy traffic. But as I say many times on these um, these hacking videos, it's just little things that we look for, especially when hacking alone, just to see what the horse's attitude is when leaving the yard. If they, you know, how much persuasion they need, how much um, confidence from the rider, you know, all of that. And you know this is what as i say this is what we're looking for when we assess horses all of the time i say it time and time again that um you know not every horse hacks alone 
and that's fine not every horse has to hack alone you know they do what they do guys um most of the time horses hacking alone um need some sort of direction and some sort of confidence from their rider especially when they are in surroundings that they don't know they've been with us for a short time they're not settled the list goes on so we are totally understanding if horses um you know are unsure about going alone but when we see them um like jazz that are so happy to just go straight out from the yard confidently on on their own and they're not needing a great deal of input from their rider then you know that is a really really good sign just as the, she comes up to a gateway in a minute guys there is some um if the gates are closed the dogs are behind the gates so I will just say that on these videos because sometimes you see horses step out and wonder what they're stepping out from but that's what it is to be fair the hacking here you know as you can see is country lanes but what we do get we get lots of tractors and believe it or not we get we get a fair few lorries down here it's a bit of a cut off cut through um road so even though we're not on a main road as such we do actually see our fair share of large traffic um this is the gateway that I was meaning so yeah we do see our fair share of of traffic horses are definitely tested they've got to uh yeah the gates are shut they have to um prove themselves to be safe and sensible and as and to react um as minimal as they can because as you can see now nikki's ride there you go there's that that is precisely you can see that obviously it's a car and was driving very sensibly and all that's fine but you do come around some blind bends basically um and you can be met with anything motorbikes cyclists cars tractors trailers whatever and so we very much have to make sure that it's a horse that we um you know that we trust them that we are we feel uh confident to take them on their own so as you can see nick's roads fresh from the stables you even saw her riding out of the stable block straight out and actually nick's rode um jazz for five minutes the day she come which was friday afternoon and she hasn't sat on her since so you know this is a rider that's not used to the horse and vice versa you're gonna have to bear with in a set now because Nikki will just ride past here while I um, maneuver the car. So I'm just going to switch the camera off and pick it up again in a sec. I just want you to see her trotting off and the car's passing her. Oh, she's got quite a few cars coming actually. go okay resume in two seconds right so you can see that she's trotted away very easily and that jazz is walking back not a problem so just to recap some of jazz's info we bought her as 52 um she's very sort of horse-like oh you've got a bike coming now she's very sort of horse-like rather than didn't hear that coming did you? What's that? Bet you didn't hear the bike. Oh did she? Yeah. We can go there. Right guys. We just contemplated whether we do the field or we just seen that this has been um, mowed so ploughed even. There we go. Straight off. Super fun mare really really fun i don't know i've told nick just canter all the way up so i'll zoom in there you go and as i was saying nick's only ridden her on friday um for five minutes so she actually knows you know only what sort of 
don't know what you guys know really <laughs> what you see on the camera because Nick's been off for a few days um so it's nice to see as well once they canter up and then you've got to turn round to come back towards home how many times guys once your horse's feet get on a bit of soft um do they sort of hot up coming home you know we've all been there with the ones that get strong or jig joggy or whatever and do you know what you can't blame them because a lot of the time it's just pure sort of excitement you know that's that that is perfectly acceptable but as we all know it's a bit of a pain um so it's nice to see her just walking back right so just as i was saying we bought her as 15 too and she's very sort of horse like rather than pony sometimes you see them um these cob types like an overgrown oh, i don't know if you can see next only one handed as well they're like an overgrown pony she's not like that she's more horse like she's very comfortable you very much sit into her she's got a nice sort of longish stride you know she hasn't got that pony choppy stride um and you will see that she obviously carried kyle at six foot one absolutely super so she's definitely horse-like guys rather than pony <sighs> was she fun I know, I said that she would be. Right, I'll just grab, get in my car. There we go. You can, um, you can walk most of it. You can trot a little bit if you want, but um, don't get home too fast because I've got lots of info to give. <laughs> right, guys, I'm just getting in my car. I'll be back in a sec. Right back on so as i was saying to nick just to walk back a little bit because i just wanted to bring you guys plenty info um so yeah carrying on to what i was just saying that you know some are pony like what i call and some are horsey uh, she's very horsey i would say we haven't actually put a stick on her she was bought as 15 too she was described as full up um, but you know you'll see she's got sort of like as I was saying quite a good fronting on her so if she does measure under 15 2 on the stick you wouldn't know it because she does just carry her riders very well um, and you know you can see you can even just see from here you can just see the sight the length of her leg and and how she's riding you know she's she's horse not pony um, and as I say Kyle's at six foot one was riding her um, absolutely no problems whatsoever she came to us from a family in Wales who actually bought her to do a bit of riding on and then to join their sports horse breeding program she's not compatible to their stallion not that they've tried it um, nothing sort of scientifically other than just color apparently what they wanted to breed you can't put with a colored so but for the last 12 months she's been ridden by 12 year old girl who's been and done sort of arena hire video um clinics um she's done mountain foot rides over the sort of um mountains there the fun rides she's done cross country she's been used to to hack for various riders friends of the family members of the family the dad has um done quite a bit of riding on her as well um, unfortunately he's actually sustained a farming accident quite a serious one um, hence really the decision come to a head to part with Jazz um, her previous owner has been in touch as well and everybody's just got fantastic things to say about this mare um, she is uh, we bought her as 13 years old in her passport it says age unknown but then it does say also um that she on her passport um that the vet has aged her and estimated her year of birth being oh i want to say 2009 i think it says um if that makes her 13 anyway um passed the two-stage vet check last year um had no injuries 
um, since she's um, we've we've found no lumps or bumps, no sarcoids, no nothing like that. She's very good um, to have around. We haven't known we've had her to be honest. Um, when she's been living in Wales, she's been living out in a herd, and she was um, easy in the herd, not not dominant, just slotted in, not a problem. Um, you can just really see her size there actually it gives you a good idea of the size of her um, with us we've got her living in and they go all in a paddock um, for a couple of hours a day as you saw that Nikki got her out of the paddock uh, they have the individual turnout but they've always got friends next to her but she's not stressy like that she stands in the stable and if all the others get turned out she doesn't really bother she just eats the hay nap um previous owner said that she can be marish when tacking up but she doesn't actually do anything i think i show well you can see anyway on the on the tacking up um we found that she can pull a face if you do a girth but you know what we tend to do is just put the girth on slack and then do it up after um she's been great to load and travel um owner previous owner said fantastic to clip to shoe all of that you can see that i mean i know she was only in a paddock but i've i've actually got some video for anybody that's interested um some video clips they are only sort of home movies if you like from a previous owner but doing a bit of everything with her um so i've got those um available for anybody who would like to see i think it gives you a good idea but as i say they are very much just in uh, home videos so they're not the deaf you know they're not sort of they're, you know they're only for their personal use but they are available um we had apparently she has spent some time on a riding school previous to that um her owners have said that she's just fantastic to hack and i think you can see that we've got videos of her with the the jet um spray all the rest of it she's absolutely fantastic she's pretty unflappable as you can see happy to go out on her own she's good in open spaces she's not strong she's a nice active forward ride but she's not strong or silly she's in a snaffle um fantastic to jump she just jumps anything you ask her to whether that be cross country or show jumping fillers colored poles everything really honest and pretty much jumps off any stride so i say she's a fun horse that i would like somebody who wants to get out and do a bit of um fun stuff anybody that wants to do dressage it's not going to be her um you know she i would say that flat work is her least favorite um I've got info written from her long-term owner that anybody's interested, I can forward it on. It's got quite a lot of bits and bobs of info, pretty much what I've told you, but there might be some that I've um, not mentioned. Um, as I say, feel free to drop me a message and I can send you that. It's very hard at the minute to find horses um, in reasonable price, any horses in reasonable price ranges, but especially, the ones that are are like her really her size right i'm just going to turn you off and i'll be back on in two secs right so um as i was saying um then that yeah types like her are just so hard to find we were just gonna go in the indoor if it was free to finish off this info but you can take her in, Nick. Just take her in and um, just put her in a stable. So you can see what a good size she is, guys. And as I was saying, Nick, um, she hasn't... You, you've only been on her for five minutes when she first come, haven't you? Five minutes, yeah. So, um, and she's, she's... Do you know what? Do you know what her biggest bonus is? She's got a black tail. Yeah, I saw that on Cal's video, I'm not sure it was. So, yeah. She says I'll go in the stable now. But yeah, this is her then. You're going to see more videos of Nick riding her this week. Um, you've, there's all the videos on YouTube of Kyle riding her. Oh, she's not met the new, she's not met the new girl, has she? There we go.
Every time you come around, you know I can't say no Every time the sun goes down, I let you take control I can feel the paradise before my world implodes And tonight had something wonderful My bad habits lead to late Every pure intention ends when the good times start With a stranger I barely know Swearing this will be the last But it probably won't I got nothing left to lose Or use Or do my bad habits lead to I hate ice Driving down the four five, running all the stop signs. The way you're touching my skin, the way you're making me sin. Laying in your backseat, so put your magic on me. Come on, tie me up in your strings, uh, make me do anything. Yeah, yeah, got me looking hella crazy. Yeah, yeah, got me tripping on you lately. Yeah, I'm under your spell and I'm under your body. It's like black, black magic You work your voodoo on me Black, black magic The things you do to me, yeah Black, black magic uh, Just like that Black, black magic You work your voodoo on me Black, black magic You work your voodoo on me Black, black magic The things you do to me, yeah
work your voodoo on me Black, black magic You work your voodoo on me Black, black magic The things you do to me, yeah Black, black magic I just like that Black, black magic You work your voodoo on me Black, 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 black Yard. Right guys, just wanted to use the opportunity today um, to let you all know that Jazz has completed her assessment. So I've got numerous videos of her um, and lots of information out there, but I just want to summarise it all up into this one video. So as you can see, um, Jazz is our pie bulb mare. She's around 15 two. Um, she is, her passport actually says age unknown, but that also does say um, by a vet that she has been aged and her year of birth estimated at 2009, which makes her 13. Um, we bought her from a family down in Wales who actually bought her to go on to their um, sports horse. Well, in, in the long run, she was to go on their sports horse breeding program. But in the meantime, she was used for all of the family. Um, she was used for the daughter, 12 years old, to take her out. Um, she's done arena hire lessons, jumping mountain rides ridden by hacked out by the dad um ridden by various riders in between used for hacking alone and in company she's done absolutely everything she was a put pick up and put down horse as well she was living in a herd um and she was described as non-dominant in the herd and she was living out when I say she was a pick-up, put-down horse, she was one. There were some weeks where she could have been ridden every day. There's other weeks where she would have been left unridden and she was no different. So that's what she's been doing for the past 12 months. I have managed to speak to previous owners before that who everybody's got lovely things to say about this horse. And to be honest, they actually just confirmed what we have found in our assessments. So what we found it, but oh, when she's not falling over, oh, was that you, Kyle? Yeah, I'm laughing, I'm oh, oh yeah, Kyle's Kyle's always the helpful assistant. Um, so what we found in our assessments is we've got her living in with a little paddock to be turned out a couple of hours a day. So she's had a real change in environment, which she's taken to absolutely fine. She's no bother in the stable. She's not bothered if you're bringing horses in and out or anything like that. She's not stressy. She's settled very easily. She was good to load, good to travel. Um... I've got, for anybody that's interested, I've got some information written by her old owner um, who describes her um, as basically a little jumping machine, fantastic to hack, can be marish when you're tacking up. Um, now, we have found that a little bit, but to be honest, we find that with most mares. So she can be marish when you are doing a girth. So there is videos of us tacking up as well. And we just um, put the girth on, not too tight. And then after a couple of minutes, just tighten it up. So that is something to be aware of. We have found her to be well-mannered as well. We haven't found her to be bargy, but she is a cob that enjoys her work. I wouldn't say she's sort of a ploddy cob, although she looks like that right now, <laughs> you know. Um, but at the same time, she's very sensible. She's snaffle-moused um she's not strong in any way she's not fizzy at all she's very easy to ride she's fantastic to hack i would say hacking is a real strong point especially um those that 
might um, need to hack alone as well because obviously you know not every horse hacks well alone she definitely does she's very bold to hack out um, she's good in the traffic she's not spooky she's good on road and off road as well she'd be great open open spaces yeah she is good fun very good fun in open spaces she'll jump cross country um all of that you could box her up and take her to a fun ride and know that you're going to come back in one piece all of that she is really really good fun she's been ridden by kyle um he's tall he's six foot one so that gives you a good idea of her size but as i said a previous owner they used them for all the various different riders including the dad so she is used to a taller rider as well cracking to jump she literally jumps anything you ask her to she's not spooky at all but if show jumps and cross country jumps um her weaker points guys would be probably a flat work um she'll walk trot canter around to warm up for a jump or whatever but anybody that wants to really concentrate on um the dressage or the flat work then she's not going to be that horse what we tend to do guys is when they're with us we've we've sort of almost got to be the horse's um their voice and choose what sort of home they would choose and you know if she had um if she had a say in the matter i know that she would absolutely love to go out hacking she would love a home that like i say wants to do fun rides a bit of jumping that sort of stuff um many many people ask about all of the horses and one of two of the most common um questions are are they suitable for a novice are they a confidence giver that is such a difficult question to answer with any of the horses, okay? If you ask Nikki, um, is this horse a confidence giver to go out hacking alone, to jump? She's going to absolutely say yes, but Nikki's already an established rider. So, you know, I can't answer those questions for you guys. Well, I can only give you the information of exactly what the horse has done previous to us owning them and with us, but... All of our assessments are documented and they're all on our YouTube channel anyway. So I can, I know the horses and I can tell you about the horses. You've got to remember guys, I don't know you, um, you only know yourselves as a rider and as a horse owner. So it's for you to decide because as I say, that question just, you know, it's very difficult to answer. Um, you know, if I was to ask Kyle now, you know, was she easy to jump? He's going to say yes, because she absolutely is. Um, so, like I say, what you need to do is watch the videos. And it doesn't just apply to Jazz. This applies to any of the horses um, that, we, that we have in. Um, we can only give you the information we've got. Just bring her into the middle, Nick. And just hold... So she is a super size. And perhaps let's just bring her over there out, the, out of the, the way a little bit of this so I can get around the side. So as you can see, she's a great size, a great stamp of a horse. Very difficult to find this um, sort of stamp. And as I was saying yesterday on the um, voiceover, that to me, she she's standing so peculiar. She's like got half a step behind <laughs> stand up for the for the okay slightly better um i've just gone off what i was actually saying yeah what i was saying yesterday is she's very much like a horse um kind of stamp rather than an overgrown pony so you sit into her she's nice and comfortable to ride the bonus of the black tail I mean, she's very good to bath and all of that sort of stuff, guys. Nicely marked as well. I have got some videos. Okay, you can just uh, walk around to the left this time. I have got some videos of her. Oh, yeah, to the right. Sorry. Yeah. You knew what I meant. Um, from previous owner, for anybody who would like to see them. They are sort of only sort of home videos um they're not professional videos um but they are you can actually see her just doing a little bit of everything and you can just see that she's had various riders on and done different um activities 
She's not a spooky sort at all. Nothing seems to really phase her. There's videos of the jet um, wash and all of that, the leaf blower. I don't kind of know why she ended up um, having all that in one go. <laughs> but, you know, when we see anything like that happening, it's good to assess the horses. So this is our lovely mare, Jazz. Anybody who would like more info um, that I perhaps haven't covered, just ask, but I've tried to sort of think of everything on, on here. So as I say, there is um, previous owners videos and a written description from them should anybody um, want it. And she is priced in the green, the green heart. I don't know why it always goes from my head. Every time I think of what heart, I have to sort of visualize. So God knows how you guys um, do it, seeing as I look at it every day. But yeah, she's green heart. And as you all know, horses nowadays are very, very um, difficult to find in those price ranges. Okay, guys, thank you. <laughs> and stop. Oh, she's doing the pole. Go to the right now and come down the poles. <laughs> I'm just showing everyone, you're not leading her. Good girl, Jazz. Good girl. That was very cute.